hello everybody. I missed you guys so much. Um, so it has been so amazing ever since, ever since the live, the 522 liftoff, you know, when Jesus explained that someone sent me the definition for liftoff and it literally was talking about like the jets lifting off. And then there's so much military action that day. And then um, getting confirmation about it being lifting off in the spirit, which is so amazing because it's literally Cassie found it in the word. Well, I was on the phone with Cassie and Jesus spoke, you know, their thoughts that come into my head. It's not an actual voice, but the thoughts that come in my head were Colossians 2. And then I think it, he gave me like an exact number. And so Cassie's looking at it and then she reads it. She's like, oh man. And then Ephesians 2. And then he like brought me to like Deuteronomy and Genesis and stuff like, but anyway, this is definitely um, things that God was showing us. The whole getting the new wine skins and leading from circumcision to uncircumcision, which is your faith. So it's like getting rid of works and just trusting in Jesus with your faith and it says you have to put on your, your wedding garments, you know, and the wise virgins and stuff. So it's all like, and shedding your wine skins. It's, it's amazing. Cause you, you have your new, your new wine, like in order to enter heaven, you know, you have to have that perfect, spiritual heavenly body and that's literally happening in the spirit right now so what's amazing is because um so many people are feeling this like almost like a supernatural gravity feeling it's it can be dizzy it can be a headache it can just be like whoa you know you feel like you're in like a a supernatural like sleep almost a little bit like when i woke up on the 18th I think is when I had the dream it was right after the live okay I woke up and it was 8 a.m exactly I went outside and I almost felt dizzy it was such a strong gravity pull in the spirit I was getting my dog and I'm like what's going on am I like half asleep you know so then I go and lay down I put my head on the pillow I do not remember going to sleep but within a half an hour and then I woke up at 8 38 and remember the Lord gave me 18 38 I thought that was interesting so I woke up at 8 38 and that was when I had my out-of-body experience and I thought it was just a dream but now guys I'm really thinking that I literally was in the spirit because that's the same thing the same feeling I got when I was flying when I went to when I saw my dad die in the hospital when the Jesus gave me that vision out of the spirit um Anyway, so that was really, really cool. So lately, the Lord has put it on my heart to team up with um, more than just Jess and Cassie and McKenna. You know, he invited Sarah on the live. He invited um, the couple, Anya, Annalie, and Sean. I call her Anya, and Jesus calls her Anya, too. Um, but anyway, so not only that, then he added... Brandy Taylor, and he added um, Amy Tuggle and Alethea. Alethea this has been so it's amazing. We're all from different places all over the world. And he gave us another name the other day, too, that we're going to add. So he's literally like putting together. We have 11 people on this Zoom. And so we're all like just putting our ideas and our visions and everything and like the Maseroth. Guys, I don't have the Stellarium app. I've never been on the Maseroth, okay? So I don't know anything about anything, like the angles, the... I don't know anything about the map or what's on it. So the most amazing thing is Jesus, the last six months, he has been putting thoughts in my head about the Maseroth and his true calendar. And he's been giving me things that I would not know. And what's amazing is Jess from Jesus Saves found that every single date he has spoken, like February 15th, um, May 22nd, literally lines with the Maseroth and all of our ministries. Guys, you cannot make this up. This is definitely God and it's, he is just making this Oh, like I'm doing a heart. He's making this like amazing thing happen in the spirit right now. And it is going to catch up with the flesh. And when it catches up with the flesh, that is when we are called up. But he has literally already lifted the net out of the water. And then I was reading the message 
and there's clues in there. And I didn't even realize that it was like the 14th, I think June 14th or June 11th message. It says what happens after the net is pulled out of the water. So he was literally like leaning up to this and didn't even know what he was doing. This is how amazing our Jesus is. And, you know, I claim he's God. He's son of God. He came to earth in the flesh. He bled on the cross, rose on the third day, born of a virgin. I always claim that. So the Schumann Renaissance, okay, or resonance. This is cool. So I don't know if you guys have been seeing these frequencies things happening all over. Well, one of the girls, Alethea, she noticed the Holy Spirit told her to go look up what the concordance is on the numbers on the, cause there's like crazy frequencies. You're going to be blown away. They're literally about what we've been talking about. I think even one was like wine skins and his, um, 522 was on there to lift up and, um, the coming and judgment and like, it's literally the heavens opening up, like he's been saying, and that's why people are feeling this gravitational pull towards heaven because the ones who truly are walking with Jesus Christ and they're looking for his arrival and they're, they're feeling this, you know, they're, they're waiting for him. And um, it's just amazing. Like, I don't know who's saved. You know, that is God. That is Jesus. You know, so I think everybody feels something different. So if you're not feeling something, I'm not saying that you're not saved. I have no, I would never ever say someone's not saved. That's not my place. Um, you know, that's just something that you need to do is just pray to Jesus and ask him, you know, hey, I, I, you know, give me a dream, give me a vision, give me a confirmation. You take everything to Jesus. So anyway, we have been putting all of our stuff together. And we've been doing Zoom parties. So I have the clips coming. I'm waiting for McKenna to upload them. And then I'm going to copy them from her because I'm having trouble downloading them from the YouTube. Sorry, taking so long. But so there's some clips where I'm literally closing my eyes. Don't have the map in front of me. I'm closing my eyes and I'm like, okay. And I'm guiding Jess to get all these numbers that line up with the ministry and the angle. I can't even explain this right now. And so I close my eyes and I'm like, okay, go 30 degrees left, stop, flip it upside down, look at the ladder. And then I'm like, Jesus said, walk up the ladder. So he's getting me all these thoughts. We found out through Jesus that on the Maseroth, the true calendar on the Stellarium app, there's hidden things in there. There's like a hidden door, which we just, we, we discovered that the blanket, which is why we're still in the ninth hour, because the blanket is grace and it's literally covering us through the Maseroth. And the Maseroth is like the, it's almost like a playground of heaven. It's like the kingdom of heaven. There's like different little things in there. And Jesus said in the video, he was like, do you see the cat? And I was like, there's a cat? What? And so then McKenna starts looking at it. And she's like, oh my gosh, there's a cat. <laughs> and then the ladder. And then there was like other things like a door. Like he said one where there was like, um, he said in my head, he said, four, three, two, one countdown. And then she's like, oh my gosh, there's a door that says that. Guys, I couldn't make this up. Could not make this up. So the connection with Jesus is so strong. It's my childlike faith. I love him. You're not going to understand unless you ask Jesus and you really, really have the childlike faith to believe. But we're all like children on the Zoom. We're so excited. We're so happy. And no, we're not crazy. It's literally just our faith and we believe. And so I'm going to post some clips. It's really, really cool just because, you know, he'll give me spiritual tongues um, and then, you know, a message like interpretation. And then that's when I'm gathering like the, the Maseroth and I'm blown away because there's things like I don't know because I've, I've never used the Maseroth before or the it just goes over my head the signs in the heavens and HD on the Stellarium app is actually hidden and he says it to me in a video as we're recording he goes it's HD and then they started looking up the search and they did HD and found that it was hidden so there's like hidden doors and 15 means so much and May 22nd was the start of the ninth hour and literally it's all lining up and I think Jess is going to do another video too so okay guys if you don't know Jesus believe in him with all of your heart and look out for the videos 
I'm so excited because um, our, our King is coming. So please believe in him. It's your childlike faith and his grace that saves you. Ignore the telegram one.